Hi, this is my second video about using MATLAB App Designer. In this video, I will show you how to uh, import data using a dialog box, as well as how to work with the text box and text uh, field. All right, so let us first open MATLAB App Designer. Also, I can show you something else here. So these are two data format that I have. So this is a text format. I have a vector with some information. And also here I have a, an Excel file with uh, some data in it. Basically three columns of, of information here. All right. Um, so first thing that I want to create is basically I want to put two buttons. Um, one of them basically to import data and one of them to give a directory which for example user wants to all the output data be saved in that folder um, maybe I should delete the names of these things here you can put a label underneath them or wherever you want so for example import data And here you can also choose an icon. Basically here you click. Now here I have two icons. One of them I made it myself. One of them I downloaded from internet. I put the link of this in the description. So basically if you select an icon then you have already the shape of the icon in your, in this one. All right, so now let's say this is for, for that one and here I will select the other one. Also I put a label here, let's say directory. All right, so now let us say we are happy with this. Mm, you can see that the first button, this one is corresponded to this app dot button. The second one is corresponded to the, maybe I should change the name of this to one. All right. Now, okay, so I want to, whenever I click on this, a dialog box opens and then we can select the file and then we read the information inside that file. Okay, so what we do is that we click on code view. And now obviously we have to create a callback for, for this first one. So I right click on this uh, button, basically callback and add a callback here. So here I already wrote the few lines that we need here to save some time. I explain what does uh, each of them mean. So with this first line, basically what we are going to do, this one will open a dialog box and uh, the name of the file will be saved into this the file. The path will be saved here and the, the index of the file, the format of the file will be selected, will be placed into index. With this second one, what I do is that I basically combine the path and the name of the file into one string. And then with the third line, we can actually import the data uh, of this file into uh, parameter A. Okay, so let me, I save this one. So now I'll go back to the design view and I create the app. If you click on run. Okay, so now at this moment we are here. We have only created a callback for this first one. So now if I click on this, basically it opens a dialog box. And here I can, I can select whatever folder that I want, but my information is in this folder. So now here I can choose the format. Basically this first one is index one, this one is index two and so on. So this one is index 19, as we will see later. So I select this one to be able to see anything. And let's say at the beginning, I want to read all the information in, that are available into this text box, so data one. All right, so now, let us see what we get in the command prompt. So when we run this, it opens the dialog box and it puts all the information here. And now we can see that file is basically the name of that text file. And the path is basically the path that uh, leads to this text file. And then the index was 19, as I described. Now file name, I, I created the second line, basically combines these two together. So we have a full address. And then with this third one, we actually read the information from that uh, file. Now let's say if I want to import the data in that Excel file the same way, I can just select this one and now I can select the Excel file. Basically again, same thing happened. So 
uh, this is the name of the file this is the pad we combine them together so this is the full name and here comes the information available in that excel file all right so now we are done with uh, importing data by by clicking this button we can import the data and later on you can do whatever you want with those information now sometimes for example you want to uh, let users select the directory uh, that for example later on you want to print all the outputs uh, or save all the output into that directory so in this case basically what we do is that we have to create a callback for the second uh, button okay so this is here and this line is very simple it's just one line you basically copy this one and paste it here so this selection pad basically it's it gives you a ui get directory and with this basically an open a box a dialog box will open and then user can select the folder so let me i click i save this now I go back to this app so now if i click on this one basically um nothing happens or maybe i should rerun it so if i click on this one a dialog box opens and now we can select which folder i want let's say i want this folder okay so i select this folder and now what happens is that here this uh, this uh, select path basically have the the address of that folder which later on you can use it again to for example print your information into that into that folder if you if you need all right so now we are done with the uh, importing data and giving a directory now i want to talk a bit about um, field text and also text boxes okay now let me also add another button basically just to launch the, the activities here so i can rename this one as read uh, maybe or write and maybe i give the background a little bit of color okay so now these are t uh, these um, text fields and also text boxes these are basically they they accept um, a string so for example if i put anything here let's say and then later on i want to read it it will be read as a as a string now okay so i create a callback for this button and whenever i click this callback i want to read the information available in this text field um, so this is basically there so we go to code view and then we right click on that button create a callback okay now let's say what I want to do, I also wrote already here. So let's say I put this and copy this to one. Basically here, for example, this um, this one, the name of the the name of this field is here app.edit field. So let's say we want to put the information available in this app.edit field and then at the end we add value. So we want to know the value that is inside that, we put it in B and uh, sometimes for example let me i comment this one first okay so if i save this one let's see what happens uh what is it okay so now if i for example click here basically the information that is available in this field will, will appear it's a string uh, so sometimes you want for your program you want for example um, user enters uh, a vector of uh, in, uh, numbers for example um, nine seven something like this of course if you read it it is uh, still in the format of a string so what we can do is that we can actually use a string to num basically the same thing app.edit field dot value and now in this case, for example, let's say I change this one to BB is equal to this one. And if I save it, what happens is that, so basically BB will be um, then the numerical uh, vector that we want. Now, if you want to print something into this, it's also the same thing. Basically we have to do the opposite way. So for example, I have this one and I want to print it into this field so let's say after i do those reading i want to print here to i want to print hv so you can basically assign this string into this uh, this field 
So now if I run, you see right now it's here. So basically first we run it and then it converts it into numerical value. And then later on it, it puts uh, that string into here. And obviously if you want to put the number there, still you have to put the numbers as a string. So for example, you can, you can actually put uh, num to a string. Let's say, for example, you have whatever. And in that case, if I click, then that number will appear here. You have to always put it as a string. All right, so this is basically for, um, for the text field. Now let us assume that we want to work with text area. Again, reading and writing is the same thing. So let me, I put some, some information here. Um, Now this text area is actually a cell array. So each of these lines will be in one cell. So let's say for example, um, I have it here actually. I just copy them to save some time. So this is for example, let's say I put this one C, this is D and this is E. So now, um, with this one, basically, we read all the information that is available in this text area. You can see that the name of the text is app.text area, and then what we want is the value of that field. So the, here will give us the, all the information. This will give us only the information on the first line, this is the second line, and so on. So if I save this, and if I run, uh, let's say I read it, then what happens is that you can see that C will get all the cells, all the information that are available in this one. Now the last one is empty actually, even if it is empty, it gives you an empty cell. So if I go up and if I read it now, we have only a three, um, three cell. Basically, and then now, of course, I can read the first one. So this is, you can see D is the first one as it's, as it's shown here. So D is, is app.text area dot value with the bracket of one and the second line, it appears here and so on. So the same thing, if you want to print information into, um, let's say now I want to print some information into second line after I've read it, then I can put it here, for example, um, my my family name, Niasar, let's say. And if I do so, um, when I run the application, so now these are the three lines, but of course the second one, we can print the information into that line. I think this is enough for this video. So in the next video, I will cover some more features of the, of the app designer. Bye.